My name is John Hayes. I want to show you today a couple of real basic fundamentals to make spay casting fun and easy. Spay casting is the fastest growing segment of our industry and it's popular from the east coast to the west coast and one of the great reasons is it's fun. It's fun for steelhead fishing, trout fishing, salmon fishing. It's adaptable to every type of fishing and because it's so fun everybody's finding interest in it today. Spay rods really aren't any different than single-handed rods. A couple years ago, the spay rods used to be long and heavy, and today's rod designers are making rods lighter and lighter and lighter. And for everybody, whether you're a 12-year-old girl or a 70-year-old man, spay rods are easy to use. They're very light. They don't weigh much. It's, it's easier for me to show someone how to cast a spay rod in 10 minutes than it is to learn a single-handed cast. So they're really not intimidating whatsoever. They look a little bit intimidating until you get them in your hands and you realize that the slower you move, the slower you move the rod and the line, the easier the rod works, the more power the rod has. So it's not about strength, it's not about speed, it's just about going slow and easy and it's a sport for everyone. That's, you know, you can take spay casting any level you want. And there's a lot of people that start and in the first 10 minutes, they're hooking steelhead with this two-handed rod and it's a lot of fun for them. The more you use it, the better and better you get. Pretty soon you can use one of these in any kind of wind. A lot of you guys out there with a single-handed rod have difficulty casting in the wind. There isn't a wind strong enough that prohibits me casting a two-handed rod. And it's not about anything other than, it's not about muscle, it's not about how big the rod is, it's about the technique and the rod is doing all the work. Even if we had a 30 knot wind right in front of our face, it wouldn't alter my cast whatsoever. That's another great thing about spay rods is that they allow you to fish in the broadest range of weather conditions and water conditions. The other nice thing is I don't have to have a lot of back cast room. I have very little back cast room behind me right now. Let's say we had a bunch of trees and bushes. I'm just bringing the line back just ever so slightly, dropping it on the water and making a nice forward cast. And you can get distances of 50, 100, 125 feet. And we don't have any back cast room behind us at all. So that's another great thing about spay rods. And in the rivers all around the Pacific Northwest, most of us are always looking for a place to throw a back cast. We don't even think about it. It's not even part of our, it's not even part of the way we think with a spay rod because it doesn't really matter. 